Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm be showing you how to add additional fonts to Premiere Pro using Typekit. So if you have a subscription to the Adobe CC or the Creative Cloud, basically just the, the all-inclusive subscription, you also have a subscription to Typekit. And Typekit allows you to add in text from Adobe's online database. So for example, let's take, uh, let's say we wanted to write some text out here. We want some sort of modern fun sort of text in here, but we go through our text list. So if we like, let's, let's position this here and center it. And then now if we highlight it, let's look for some fonts and maybe we would go through all these fonts. And we don't really like any of the ones that are in here. Well, we can actually go to Ado uh, Adobe type kit and go and find additional types. Uh, so for example, you can click on this button right here to get to it, or you can go up into graphics and go to add fonts from type kit right up here. So I'm just going to click the button over here and it's going to open up a browser just like so, uh, whatever uh, your default browser is. And we have these options. We have 987 families of font in here right now. So that number is always gonna keep going up, but let's just search that for, we can search for it, for example, modern. And if something comes up, it'll come up here in the families. And so let's view all the family results that came from this. And let's say down here, we really like this one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and you can notice there's, there's also, uh, this is, there's a lot of free ones like in your plan in your plan in your plan, or, um, you can buy some of them as well. Some like, uh, more advanced ones. So we can see that we have a bunch of different options here. We have, you know, the, the, we can see like what it looks like on our text as well. If we go up here so we can type in, what do we have? We had modern fun. So this is what all of these different versions are going to look like. And I really like the modern bold right here. Or actually, the modern bold italic looks kind of good too. So I can actually sync both of these. I can sync all of them if I want. But we'll do sync all. And it's going to do its thing. It'll sync them. And then once it is done, and you can see that we have like uh, an amount that we're allowed to, to uh, sync at any one time, which is 100. So now I have 15. And I can unsync any fonts I don't want to use anymore. But once we have them synced, we can go back into Premiere Pro. And sometimes it updates on its own, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna go take a look and see if they updated in here. And they have not, so what we need to do is we just need to save our project. And then close the project out. Uh, I'm gonna exit out of Premiere entirely and then we're just gonna restart Premiere to reload those fonts back into the type kit. And then once the project is back up and running, we can go over into our edit tab, back into our text. And now over here, if we click this filter to show type kit fonts, you will see our new one, which is this one right down here, the Pinot Grigio Modern, if that's how you say it, it kind of looks Italian. Uh, so if you click on it, we'll notice that you have the original and then we have all of those options that we saw in there, the bold italic, the medium italic, stuff like that. And I said the modern, uh, the bold italic looked really nice. And so now we have this sort of modern sort of text that looks really good and it wasn't there before. So now we have this new font that we can add into our, our composition and, you know, put anything in here and it'll have that new style. So that is how you add text from Adobe type kit. It's a pretty neat feature that just allows you to have a wide range of types. Um, what I found was interesting is I don't know if this is specifically because of, uh, that I have the Japanese language installed onto my PC, but I also have the Japanese option over here. So I can actually find different ways to do the Japanese fonts as well. And I'm sure there's a bunch of different ones of these. If you go there, uh, but I'm curious if you guys check this out, let me know in the comments if you guys have Japanese right here or not. Um, I'd be curious to see if this is just big enough that they created an entire section for it, or if it's just because I have the Japanese installed on my computer. That is going to be it on this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comments section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, see ya.